This is my first time at Six Flags St. Louis in about two weeks. Screaming Igloo isn't open, and Catwoman is closed all day. Back in 2023, I made a video about how to tackle all the coasters in this park. One of the reasons why I mentioned you should do Screaming Eagle first thing is because of Catwoman. And in that video, I mentioned that the line will often be long for it, but in this case, it's closed all day. And so a lot of people come to Eagle first thing. So good thing I'm doing this one first thing, or else I might not get to ride because uh, it's like a couple weeks ago, they let Flash Pass on once every five trains. So I might as well put the time to wait for it. Plus, I've the trek all the way back to this area anyway. <laughs> Screaming Eagle is open for business. I wouldn't have been first round that day, most likely. But some other people who work front of the line, because I got in a little bit late, the people at the front of the line decided to leave. So lucky for me, I'll be able to get the first try of the day. So let's do it. First try of the day on Screaming Eagle was okay. As you can expect, I wasn't even close to getting a Zen ride on it because it was literally two full trains of people at least waiting for this ride to open. I got red train first ride of the day, which wasn't ideal. I much prefer riding in the blue train. Since it was first train, I'd take whatever I can get. So if it's red train, then I'd ride red. Now my turn time, which is like a red train over the hill and down in the trees. Not quite smooth as I think I remember, but then again, my last few rides were in blue train, so maybe that has something to do with it. But not a bad way to start the day. Now I'm gonna go down towards the boss and ride that, and then go start riding Justice League and Mr. Freeze. And I do want to try and get on American Thunder and Batman today, because American Thunder I've only ridden twice, and Batman I've only done once. So I'm gonna get on those. Maybe I'll also try Rookie Racer again. I rode it twice uh, a couple weeks ago. Well, technically four laps on it, because I rode it twice. They sent me around twice each time. I haven't been on since then, so I'm gonna try and get on all of those today at some point as well. You guys might have already seen the construction of the for Joker Carnival of Chaos. Oh, I look like there's something going on right now. So I recommend checking that out, see what exactly is going on with this.
Man, Boss was awesome today. Even for a morning ride, I was really impressed with how good that ride is. Wasn't too rough, good airtime, great laterals, which more so than some of my other rides this season, if not all of them. The laterals were way more noticeable this time, which I appreciated. Easily best ride I've done today so far, but then again, it's only that and one ride on Eagle, so I can't really judge it off much. Maybe Mr. Freeze will have something to say about that, which I'll head down there, as well as Justice League right now. You would love it. not gonna believe what just happened. Red Blaster of Car A is all sorts of messed up, but it worked in my favor. In June of 2021, I think it was Blue Blaster of Car 4. It shot all six lasers in the same direction, but only when you press the button. Red Blaster of Car A did the exact same thing without pressing the button. So it was auto shooting. And I didn't know about this because I haven't been this thing in a couple weeks. And so I maxed out all six of them without hardly even having to work for it. That is just so funny. But yeah, that is a new one. Blaster, which basically had nothing on it, by the way, and I managed to get it like without a whole screen or even the canister. So I consider that extremely impressive that I actually managed to do that. I got where the Ellis is here. I think he's coming to Mr. Freeze, so I'll uh, catch up with him and take a ride on this with him. Mr. Freeze broke, so we're doing that, man. Want to have a back roll ride because I've not ridden the back roll yet.
back row. That was really good. And I noticed that it was starting to rain a little bit on that ride. So I'm like, okay, I gotta try the front now because rain rides are obviously best experience in the front. And boy, was that even better. I was going ridiculously fast and I thought it was somewhat reminiscent of the one of Six Flags over Georgia, which is my favorite Batman club. So I have no complaints about how good Batman's riding today. <laughs>
were just insane. Really intense, good air time. Overall, the flips, so the fact that I wish the main course didn't trip quite as hard. running faster than my ride earlier this morning. I will say it was definitely rougher though, but I think part of it has to do with the fact that I just rode Boss like right before it, and that wasn't completely smooth either. So I still have no complaints about it. It was actually screeching on the turn near Boss's lift hill, which I haven't heard do that in quite some time. So that was quite nice. Now I'm gonna ride Mr. Freeze in the back row and see how that ride is. Ellis was the one who maxed out the car in this shot, not me. We had a solid marathon to end our night, and Ellis, you and I both got to use the glitchy blaster. Yeah, man, that was the weirdest thing I've ever seen on that game in my whole life. Yeah, we were laughing hysterically. Like, I used it, and then you used it right after. We both maxed all six of them, so that was pretty cool. I don't know if I should count it as six, since I didn't know that was going to happen, so... Right, that's totally fair. I mean, personally, I, I count it as six, although, like I said, it might be cheating, but I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, since I essentially controlled all six blasters, even though I was only using one, I pretty much counted it as six, or as if it was only one blaster, I would count as one, but... If you can count it as six, then so can I. Right, but you're choosing to count it as one. Yeah, which, that's fair. Which, speaking of it, what number are you at? I'm at 199. That is right. He is one away from his 200th max score. I would have got 200 today if the ride didn't close earlier at the start of the marathon and if I just screw up on that other game. Yeah, he had one ride where he fell short of it. Will he hit it? We'll have to find out in the next vlog. For today's final ride count, it was 13 on Justice League and then two on Batman, Boss, Mr. Freeze, and Screaming Eagle. In terms of highlights, I think it's pretty obvious what the biggest highlight was. Obviously, the glitchy blaster on Justice League. I got to use it twice and LSU's at once. 
all three of those times, I was laughing hysterically because of how chaotic it was. I mean, how often do you find a blaster that shoots all six lasers in the same direction on its own without even doing anything? That's just messed up. And all the coaster rides I got were really good. Overall, I would say today was really good. Thanks before you click off this video. Please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you know. If you're new to this channel, like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit the parks. So be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later.